Welcome back to our evening devotions. We've been reading together Heidi Barr and Ellie Rocher's book, Twelve Tiny Things. It's for our sermon series. We picked our favorite seven out of their 12. If you haven't had a chance to read their book, you can still stop by the church and pick one up at the front desk. But this is the last week of our sermon series, and we'll be talking about community. And as I've been reflecting on this, I've been thinking about those communities that have really formed me, that have made me who I am today. And I've been thinking about little mementos in my life that remind me of those communities. And one of them has sat in my office for a long time. You can tell that it, it was well loved and well, well used. It's got a candle in the middle of it. It's a, a wooden bowl and there are these you know, well, well cared for rocks uh, and some matches that got melted into the candle probably by confirmation students at one point in my office. But it reminds me of a time when I was in a community formed around a 15 passenger van. I was in college and a part of a band that traveled from church to church, town to town, all over the state of Minnesota. We spent three weeks together living out of this 15 passenger van. We'd wake up, we'd travel to a church and get all of our sound equipment out, get it all set up and do a, a concert for, or a, a worship service for that church. People would come in and we'd share uh, some message and some scripture as well as some, some music. Uh, we'd invite people to sing along. Uh, and it was a really lovely memory. We would, we would uh, live out of people's homes. They would share uh, a meal with us and, and uh, share one of their spare bedrooms. But also I remember in, in that time of living out of a 15 passenger van that there were not all just easy moments. It wasn't that they were just all fun and games every moment of the day. There were times when we would get on each other's nerves. There were times when we would want our own space but couldn't really have it as we were traveling from one place to another. But uh, I remember that uh, what was written on the front of this bowl, and it was given to me by the, the bass player in the, in the group, is We Will Walk as One. In fact, it was a song that we wrote together uh, as a band, and uh, it reminds me of being part of a community. Not that acknowledges, or not that ignores the, the hard parts, the sticky bits of being a community, but actually leans into them and says that the diversity represented in our own communities, in that 15 passenger van or in your own neighborhood, it really makes us who we are. It, it forms us together in, in, in shared value and commitment. So as we think about community this week, I invite you to think about the communities that have formed you. Maybe we're at that moment in the pandemic when we're remembering times that have gone, but give thanks for those communities. Not just the beautiful, wonderful parts, but the sticky bits, the challenging bits that shared something and gave you some knowledge about who you are. And then also, I invite us to dig into our own communities, our St. Andrew community, our neighborhood communities, our school communities. But those are places where we can actually commit to doing the important work of being called together because God is binding us together in this kingdom of God, a community of God, that is about wholeness for all of creation and wholeness for all of us, each and every human created and loved in the image of God. So I'm glad to be together as we're remembering and celebrating and being community.